for a reason. The statistics around the oppression, we call it the special oppression of African women, is one that is rarely addressed in a significant way, even inside the movement. The special oppression of African women, see a lot of brothers get like tense or like uh, nervous when sisters start talking about their condition in this country. That if African people in general are oppressed as Africans in America, and African women have this double-edged blade of being both black and female in a patriarchal white nationalist society, then our condition is something very peculiar, right? And so here you have a situation in this country where the most recent statistics state, because people want to make it some contradiction between an individual black man and black woman. That ain't what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the collective oppression of African women and children. We are talking about the fact that in Tampa right now, that there is a huge problem with the abduction of African children. The reason we don't see nothing about it is because they're black, right? That Tampa Bay has one of the highest sexual exploitation rates in the entire state. Florida ranks third in the country. Our children are sent out every day before day in the morning to get on these damn buses to go to school before the sun comes up and they are pit against parasites working in our community to take them and put them off in sexual, uh, sexual exploitative type situations, right? That the statistics in this country is one out of every six women will be raped or molested in her lifetime. One out of every six. And that if you're a black woman, the statistics are one out of every three, right? That in this country, that African men, one out of every three African men will be raped in his lifetime. These are the conditions that we're confronted with. When we send these babies out to school, we have to send them armed to protect themselves, to give them the five seconds that they need to get away from an aggressor, right? How to recognize an aggressor, to be security conscious. I remember when my daughter